I think I'm in love. Hello! Welcome to this week's video. Just get dressed properly. That's better. Right, well, if you've been following my Facebook posts, you'll have seen how excited I am about having got a new lathe, a Vicmark VL300, with two chucks as well. A Vicmark 120 chuck and an Axminster Precision chuck. It is a truly beautiful piece of machinery. Ah, uh, still got my Wivermac. Toying with the idea of keeping both, seeing how I get on with that, because the Vicmark is a little bit shorter bed length, but slightly bigger capacity over the bed. Oh, I'm going to have fun. Two projects at once, maybe. Jumping from one to the other. Let's get started with a project. Right, so this is the chuck that came, or one of the chucks that came with the lathe. A uh, bison chuck from Axminster, I believe. That's what it says on the label. Anyway, bison. Just going to have to true this up. And as you know, I like to turn away the old finishes and put new ones on. One of the differences with the lathe is the shortness of bed. I really think this is going to probably be in the way when I'm hollowing out the inside of the bowl. But just going to have to get on and see what it's like. Face shield on and let's make some shavings. Right, bit of acrylic sanding sealer going on now. Well, it looks quite classy with just a black paint and a bit of texture. How long before I get my first bit of paint on my lovely Vicmark lathe? I should run a little sweepstake. It's the 20th of May today. Hmm, I'm away all of next weekend and the whole of the week and the weekend after that. Chances of getting in here during the week are minimal. Hmm. 
another little palette, a bit of red. Handy, I've already got a red paintbrush. Doesn't it look ghastly? Reminds me a bit of my experimental colours when I did a demo at Burstall. If you remember those, Frank, I'm sure you'll never forget them if you're watching. I hope you are. Because you can see, I don't learn. I don't learn or I keep on trying. One or the other. Or both. Wouldn't it be awful if you just kept on trying and didn't learn anything? Hmm. Am I getting too profound? I think I'm tempted to put a bit of cerise on. Just round these. Just in some areas, just where this sort of edge is. Make it look almost like Almost like I thought about it. Okay, that's been drying overnight, and it's actually not as bright in daylight as it is with the lights on it, so I'm gonna go with a bit more yellow. Maybe just tone down the pink and the red a little bit and go for a stronger yellow color over the top. <sighs> Let's see how that works out. then lacquer to finish that off and then you've got to take care of this over painting here I'm going to put at least three coats on missed a bit there I think and leave at least 15 minutes. I put on quite a thick first coat. Okay, just finishing off the inside now. A bit of cut and polish. And I've said before, I like using this way of finishing rather than using a sanding sealer because if the sanding sealer gets over the edge, it sometimes compromises the lacquer finish. Whereas this just sands away or wipes away. It doesn't form a nasty, crusty, dry, very obvious boundary line. It says in the leaves a very nice smooth finish. A little discoloured there. Should probably go back and clean that out a little more. But for the sake of today's video, that's it finished. Here we have it, the first thing I've made on my new Vicmark lathe. And here it is, 
my first turning on my new Vicmark lathe. It's a lovely lathe to use, very solid, very dependable. Um, I'm really, really going to enjoy using it for more projects. Now, chestnut iridescent paints, perhaps not as shiny as you might have expected to see. I think the blending of the colours um, you know, took some of that gloss off, but the lacquer's added some shine back and the still images will hopefully give a better idea of what it actually looks like. Um, it was good fun to do. I've tried not to do the sort of cosmic cloud effect or the string paint technique that other people are demonstrating and making videos on. You can go and watch their videos. They're, they're wonderful techniques and uh, I would certainly use those techniques myself, but I just want to try and do something that's a little bit different. Okay, uh, still images coming up now. Um, and I probably won't be posting now again till probably mid-June. Um, various other commitments coming up. So don't forget me. Look out for those new videos coming in about three or four weeks time. Anyway, for now, thanks for watching. I'll leave him getting on with that from the old lady. Something from the new one. Do you know, I've just thought, two turnings at once, two videos at once, double the turning videos, Double the views, double the subscribers. I'm going to go and do some planning. <laughs>